The LGBTQ plus community came out today for a unity march. Supporters marched from Old Town to Hyde Park, where they then had lunch. And Cake Stephanie Minichi was there, and she joins us live in studio. And Stephanie, you tell us the focus group included outside of the LGBTQ community, uh, LGBTQ plus community. They called it a unity march, a solidarity march, taking charge and taking a stand together. Today was all about paying respect to those who paved the way for them to have marches today. I'm here, I'm queer, I'm happy to be here. Looking back, moving forward was the theme for Sunday's Pride March. The LGBTQ plus community came together in Old Town where different speakers talked about what it means to unite. Many people credited 1969 Stonewall event, a series of protests from the gay community in New York City for sparking the tradition of Pride Week. We're looking back on our history, on Stonewall, on all the people who made our lives today possible, and also looking at all of the history that's repeating itself and the ways that people have gathered for change. Like this whole thing is able to happen because of the Stonewall riots. One small ripple made a huge impact on the world. Wichita's Pride president says it's not unusual for a marginalized community to have backlash when they have gains. I'm old enough to remember a lot of, of the gains that we've made, and we've, we've certainly come a long way since Stonewall, which was 50 four years ago now. Jim Hall says given the anti-trans bills that lawmakers have debated and passed over the last few months, the LGBTQ plus community has to be more united than before. Another speaker says she feels legislatures across the country are out of touch and she plans to run for office. It would be my job as a representative to make sure every one of my constituents is heard. We may not agree on everything. We may have lively discussions about things, but my ears are open. Kansans marched from Second and Meade with flags, signs, and wearing pride colors. The march ended at Hyde Park, where they ate lunch in unity. Stephanie Minichi, Cake News on your side. Today's march included focus on intersectionality. According to Pride Board Secretary Evelyn English, it's not about just fighting for the rights of gay people, but they were also fighting for the rights of people of color and indigenous community. Stephanie Minichi, live in studio.